Ladies and gentlemen, the bell has rung. It is 12 noon, and welcome to the Hunger Mountain Co-op sponsored Brown Bag Concert Series. It's every Thursday at 12 noon, weather permitting. Unfortunately, last week it got rained out and we missed out on a Nashville duo called the Twangtown Paramours. So they have a website if you want to check them out because unfortunately we didn't have them here last week. This week, we are here in this beautiful sunshine. We want to thank Christ Church for allowing us to use this fantastic courtyard. Um, next week is Green Mountain Swing right here in the courtyard, 12 noon on Thursday. But you're here right now, so enjoy an hour of Dana and Susan Robinson. Hello, hello. Thank you, Fred. Happy to be here. Glad you're all here, too, on this beautiful, beautiful day. So, yeah, let's just start off with the song. It's called The Asheville Blues. Well, Asheville Blues. We lived in Asheville for about 15 years. That was our fond poking fun at it. And just as it was getting just a little too gentrified, we thought, you know, we're going to move to Vermont, back to Vermont, where it is not. So uh, we're going to do next for you a song I wrote along the Ohio River one beautiful Sunday day, much like this when the trees were putting carbon back onto their branches and trunks and roots. 
This is uh, kind of a song about our inevitable shift to alternate energies. Little Neil deGrasse Tyson inspired. The song calls the is called The River Flows On. Hello there. Try again. One, two. Coming around the bend of the lazy blue Ohio, the big long barge is making its way down. It's heavy with coal, it sinks in it to the current. We're gonna keep the lights on in this town. Late last night I saw the smoke dissolve into the moonlight and wilt like the petals of a flower. The pale disc reflected on the surface of the water and the cold kept coming steady as the hour. And the river flows on, the change is coming. And the river flows on And the change is coming now Feel the sun shining down It's a crown upon the forest Upon the greening leaves Awake, awake There's a massive engine Bailing my soul in its branches with every breath of carbon that it takes. There is all this freedom here right beneath our noses. The sunlight flowing freely from the sky. And all the freedoms waiting, held captive by our choices. Adapt to the conditions or we die. And the river flows on, the change is coming, and the river flows on, and the change is coming now. Yesterday's abundance possess a certain beauty in their ruin. Gravity will pull them down until you will not see them, until the sunlight lifts another blue. Here we are riding on this tiny blue marble careening. Between space and emptiness Here we are sitting on The bank above this river In the bosom of this place Lest we forget And the river flows on The change is coming And the river flows on And the change is coming now and the river flows on, the change is coming, and the river flows on, and the change
change is coming now. Tricky keeping the instruments in tune with this sun. So we're going to sing a song um, in honor of the fabulous farmer's market that happens here every, every Saturday. Saturday. The song was written by our, our friend Louis Collins. And, uh, Who grew up in Barrie. Grew up in Barrie. Louis was working on a music curriculum for children, and she was after a, an alphabet song, and this one came to her after visiting her local farmer's market. So in the song, we go through the alphabet. We go around the alphabet two times, two strolls around the farmer's market. You kind of have to pay attention. You never know when your favorite vegetable is going to jump right out. That's a very singable chorus. See how many you can find. It's called Farmer's Market A to Z. Ready? A one, three. Smirking with me. 
Just a little fiddle tune. So nice to see you downtown here. Coming, coming out of Cabot. So last weekend, the Summit School put on their first annual Old Time on the Onion Fiddlers Gathering up in uh, at, uh, at the Onion River Campground in up Plainfield. in uh, Plainfield. There was lots of people there. It was a fantastic time. Kids, adults, everybody camping, playing music all day long. All day long and all night long, too. And it wasn't just old time music. It was all, all, sorts, all genres of traditional music. So, so you, heard, you heard, heard a lot of this there this weekend. Mm. Tunes like this one here. It's a tune called Roscoe. Uh, let's, uh, you want to do a John Muir maybe? Go to D? Sure. You want to do that? Okay. We're going to change keys. Uh-oh. John Muir. Yeah. Unless you want to do uh, Manicasa Sao? Could do. Could do? Yeah, let's do that.
this next song we're going to play is an old, old traditional song. I think it first brought to life to American consciousness in the uh, 1920s with uh, A.P. Carter and the Carter family singing this. And then we've gotten to know it from uh, in a more contemporary context, thanks to the Cohen brothers and Old Rub Where, Old Brother Where Art Thou. But uh, Dan Tominsky really jazzed it up, which is kind of fun. But we found a 1947 recording of this, recorded at a little radio station in Mount Airy, North Carolina, by a gal by the name of Juanita Moore. Very obscure, and uh, we liked it a lot, so we uh, kind of copied it, and in the process of copying it, it didn't sound like that anymore. So we're doing our own version here now. We have our own version here of a uh, man of constant sorrow. Hey, just curious, do any of you kids play any musical instruments? You look like you're on, yeah? Do you play, let me guess, do you play ukulele? You play violin. Oh, you play ukulele. You, what do you play? Piano? Cello. Cello. Love cool. Cello. Do you take lessons at the Monte Verde School? Uh-huh. School program. That's great. It's really nice schools have programs that can teach things like cello. Just curious. So here we go. Man of Constance. Oh. so hot. <laughs> Some wooden instruments. Again, one. Some deep valley from 
Thank you. Let's play an old, old, another old-time tune here. This is a very southern, kind of a southeast Virginia sort of tune. Cook a tune. I could try to line you all up for a dance, but, but this tune is so crooked, you might, <laughs> you might not be able to follow it. It's called Five Miles from Town. Thank you. 
Thank you. Five miles from town. <laughs> this is another traditional song. Bye, everyone. Keep playing your uh, ukuleles and cellos. <laughs> one, 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 two, one, two, three. Virginia, North Carolina, did I go? There I met a fair young maiden, name and name I do not know. Well, her hair was dark in color, and her cheeks were rosy red. together down beside the deep blue sea in her heart she loves another in my grave I rather be Sometimes we take it for granted how much beautiful, clean water and clean air we have here in this state of ours. I took a little uh, airplane ride from Cabot 
just uh, a couple weeks ago in a small plane, these little like a antique Cessna or whatever it was, and and it was really it flew from Cabot down to Rutland, and it was amazing to see. You know, you think down here at, at ground level that there's houses and people everywhere and roads and cars and buildings, but no, it's like Vermont seems like 97% just green and trees, and Montpelier looks so small from the air. So we, we do to be taken for granted how, how good we have it here. And uh, Sue and I were in touring in, out west a couple years ago, and we, oh, cicada, cool. Must be getting hot. Um, uh, we were in California, and, and, and it was when the drought was still happening. And uh, now they say that the drought is over in California right now, but they, they don't take it for granted. They're this far from emergency all the time. So I, I wrote this during the, the drought, and though I can't really sing about a drought happening in, uh, out west right now, I can dedicate this song to the EPA, which uh, I think could use our... Our support, actually not for the kind of agenda they have now, but for what the EPA really stands for. So this is a this song here. This is called John Muir's Walking Blues. What you gonna do when the well runs dry? What you gonna do when the well runs dry? Hang your head and commence to cry. Hit the road and say goodbye. You got the John Muir blues. I've got John Muir's walking blues. What you gonna do when the rains don't come? What you gonna do when the rains don't come? Remember the year the Okies fled. Now you've made the very same bed. You got the John Muir blues. I've got John Muir's walking blues. There was water in the ground and in the mountains high. Now the valley sunk down and the snowpack is dry. Big Ag is playing like Chinatown. If you want your pastures green, you got to lay your money down. You got the John Muir blues. I've got John Muir's walking blues. I am walking back to a holy land Where mountains and valleys forever stand You can damn hedge hedge you, it'll do no good You'll still be thirsty and hungry too You'll have the John Muir blues I've got John Muir's walking blues You'll have the John Muir blues. I've got John Muir's walking blues. Thank you, John Muir. You don't know who John Muir is? Look him up. Helped found our national parks.
Yosemite at least. Uh, we're going to go to Lead Belly here, the wellspring of Hud Buddy Lit. <laughs> what did I say, Hud Buddy? Huddy Ledbetter. You don't get too many Huddies these days, do you? Not too many Ledbetters either. Say that three times fast. Little song here called Poor Howard. I've had a request for a fiddle tune. Do you want to go, um, do you want me to play the glass, like quickly, or do you want to do the old I'll greasy go. coat and that kind of thing? Sure. So we're going to play a couple tunes. The first tune is called Old Greasy Coat, which um, we learned from the playing of Jimmy Triplett. The second tune is called Ways of the World.
You first. I'll go first. couple more for you here this afternoon at least let's see I'm gonna do a, I wrote a song we wrote this song years ago it's about kind of finding home and in a sense of place and kind of applies to how we feel about being back here in the, in the bosom of Washington County did you chuckle the bosom of I make no qualifications when I say that. You can quote me if you want. 
Ashley is free to quote me on that. No one else, though. This is, it's kind of a love song to play. It's called Loose the Ties. It goes, will you loose the ties that keep you from me now? Will you show me how to walk that way? And it's the only song I get to play my harmonica on. So by gum, we're going to do it. Even if my guitar is out of tune. got to get some of those carbon fiber instruments that don't mind the sun. All right, loose the ties. One, two. Will you loose the ties that keep you from me now? Will you show me how to walk that way? Send to me the light and tell me that a time will come. We will soon be one and long. No more, no more. This road has been kind to my feet. The path through here is old. I have trusted in its twists and turns as I walk with my eyes closed. I navigate the nighttime skies, sights focused on the star. Then that place will move falling around the curve, and I question where. You are. Will you lose the ties that keep you from me now? Will you show me how to walk that way? Send to me light and tell me that time will come. We will soon be one and long. No more, no more. This is my home, settled here, these earthly things I know. I hear the cuckoo and the mockingbird, though I seek the blackest crow. In this valley's easy pond beneath the hill town farms seven sisters will calmly wait for midnight salvage in your arms will you lose the ties that keep you from me now will you show me how to walk that Well, before we, before we uh, end with this one last song here, I, I, I think we should give a little plug for our recordings. If you, if you have 
enjoyed what you've heard this afternoon. Um, you can pick up a CD. Uh, I've even got a download card somewhere in there if you just want to be strictly digital. But CDs sound pretty good. Uh, there, people have been forgetting how nice CDs are. This tactile thing with all those liner notes and information and song credits and all that good stuff, to, all the art, the good stuff to look at. Um, and I want to thank Montpelier Live. I want to thank Hunger Mountain Co-op for sponsoring this. I want to thank Fred Wilbur here. And, yeah, thank you very much. And Ashley, absolutely. Ashley, thank you, Ashley, from the bottom of our hearts. It's really, it's a really great thing all these Thursday afternoons with music in the pocket park. This is what this little park was made for, huh? Beautiful little amphitheater sort of space, shade underneath the tree. This is our, this is our town. This is... And, <laughs> shade for and the musicians. Be, they'll be working on shade for the musicians too. So, um, this song is is very old, maybe five hundred years old, and uh, we 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 learned this from from um, singing over in England. But you may know this as well from maybe a children's book or just the song is called "Who Killed Cock Robin." I think uh, tr the traditional interpretation, or the, at least maybe within the last couple hundred years, is that this tells the story of Robin Hood's funeral and how Robin Hood was so well-loved it took his entire community to bury him when he died. So you hear all the different community members, the, the fish and the crow, all stepping up and saying, it was I, and taking part. We also like to think of the song as basically the, all the community members participating. And, and for instance, if you... Whether you vote or whether you don't don't vote, it carries the same weight. So we like to think of it in those terms as well. So vote, damn it. <laughs> Thanks again. Hey, here we go.
Thanks for hanging out. Thanks, everybody. Come on up and say hello. Yeah, and enjoy the rest of your afternoon. Beautiful, beautiful day. We got a mailing list, too. We play out and about. See you again, I hope. Bye.